Hey everybody, it's Dr. Detroit here. The doctor is in. It's a brand new day and it is part two of our one day restoration. That's right. So uh, let me just let me just talk a little about um, what we did. In the last episode or the last time that you guys saw this house, um, we were basically getting it, getting it resurrected and restored from the ground up practically. Um, I did a bunch of stuff off camera, and now today we're going to tackle the rest of the house. Um, well, you know what? I think it's better to also say, too, that we're going to take care of the front yard and the backyard, and then we're going to paint this house. So that's what today's one-day restoration is going to be. But since it is a part two, it means that this is basically day number two. But that's okay, because sometimes restoration projects do take longer than just one day. Anyway, let's come on in here and let me just show you what I what I did off camera. Check it out. Okay, so one of the things I did is that I laid down this beautiful oak floor. Um, I'm going to make this sort of like a little den area. Just, just, you know, something that could have some decoration and things like that. Here we have the living room, which is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I used the forest mist paint because I liked it so much I decided to use it for the rest of the area. Um, I kept this area pretty much the same, but one thing I did do, if we come over here, I made the, I made the bedroom, or I, I made the bathroom, as you can see here. Still gotta put a sink in and still need to do some uh, decorating in here, but that'll be for a little bit later. And then here we have the bed, which will which will then have a television set and some other stuff here. But we will we'll take care of the furnishings a little bit later in this episode. Uh, still got to do a little bit of the kids' room, but as you can see, I actually did wallpaper this. I did some constellation paper, and I did put a bunk bed here. But we're going to continue to furnish this a little bit later in the episode. All right, down this way into a guest bathroom you can see that it's got this beautiful almost like this turquoise green kind of color um, i wanted this i wanted this bathroom to kind of have like some personality to it and also it has this very cute little uh, light switch here and if i turn it on look at that let me close the door here look at that the lighting system looks really cool um it has it has areas for you for, to put your toiletries in which is awesome and it even has a cabinet over here for those extra bits of toilet paper or maybe anything else that you need here in the bathroom. Okay, let's continue this way. So, um, you know how you know how this room right here kind of looked like an extra bathroom? Well, I did do something in here. Check this out. I'm going to turn this room into basically like a kid's dining room, but also a play area for like those times when, um, you know, uh, families come over and they, and they want to, you know, hang out and stuff. So this gives a little area for the kids to hang out in. And this is something I'm very proud of. These are sliding doors, but watch this. They open automatically, which is so cool. Uh, here's the kitchen area. Again, I haven't furnished this area yet. But you can see I decided to go with the tealish kind of color for, for this. I think it just looks really good. And I also changed the floor now, so it has this checkerboard type pattern. And then here in the dining room, I thought about this really cool, like, like amethyst kind of color, as well as also this floor, because I thought that would look really cool for a big dining room in here. So this would be where, like you know, a big family dining room, or maybe even this could be where the party room for the adults are. It's really cool. So we're going to get to the furnishing uh, at the end of this episode, but right now we need to go back out front and we need to take care of the uh, grass and everything. Also, we need to paint this house. So this one day build part two will focus mostly on the backyard, painting the house, and then we'll begin to furnish uh, this lovely cottage. So let's, so let's go back out front and uh, we'll go ahead and start mowing. All right, so if you have House Flipper and you have the Garden DLC, you can see here that you can have a gardening hose, you can also still have the painting stuff, 
There's also an axe to chop down trees. Uh, we have our lawnmower. There's also a brush cutter. Uh, you can also demolish stuff out here. And yes, there is a flamethrower, but I'm not going to show it uh, on this one, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and get our mower out. And this thing is actually pretty amazing. So now you have, you, have, you have three different speeds. And all we do is we hold down this, and now we can start uh, cutting the grass. You can see that any type of like other weeds or anything like that start to go away, too. And the trees become invisible, too. Make this go a little bit faster. There we go, that's a little bit better. Get right up against the home if we can. Man, look at the difference. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue to mow the lawn here. And then after that, we're going to focus on painting the house. Amazing what a freshly cut lawn looks like. Isn't it cool? Alright, so now it's time for us to paint the outside of the house. And thankfully, because this is a one-story house, we don't need any ladders or scaffolding or anything like that. But now, I need to figure out kind of what color do we want this to be. I'm going to get up here. Now, let me see. I'm going to look at, look at it from this side. You can see that the white windows make it look really nice. And I do love... I do love those windows, but I'm trying to figure out what kind of what kind of color we can we can give this home. So I don't necessarily want it to look like a barn. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into our little tablet here. And you can also see too that um, it actually changes, so we can put all this stuff in. But uh, we will work with that in a little bit. Right now, I need to see about paint. What, what could we make this house look like? Let's see. Well, don't really want to make it lavender. Um, mm, no. Alzerian red. Huh. That's not, that's not a bad color. Then there's also Gentle Breeze, which is a nice bluish color. Um, Blue violet, no, definitely not. Uh, let's see. Celestial spheres, no, I don't like that. Horizon. Hmm. That's not a that's not a bad color, really. We're kind of in the um, we're actually we're okay. Here's the thing. We're kind of in the countryside. Let's let's put that let's put that to to, to rest. This is the countryside, as you can see. Probably we're. Probably we're just nestled right here in the country. Like, let me just hop up on these bushes. Yeah, see that? This is just all countryside stuff. And you can even see some other homes. There's 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 a train car right there. There's another home that's that's like all wood. I almost want to give this... You know, I almost want to give this home sort of a yellowish color. Like something that would... Like something that would kind of look 
kind of cool, but nothing that's not too bad. Let's see. Yellow Daffodil and Bumblebee are, are pretty good. Let's let's go here to the yellows. Faded Lemon, no. Morning Yellow, that's, um... Ooh. That's not bad. Uh, that looks a little bit dull. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and buy a can of of yellow daffodil. Let's go ahead and just get some, some, some testers. We'll go ahead and get morning yellow. And then we're going to get bumblebee. I know I'm getting the, the large cans, but at least this will give us an idea. All right, so I believe this is the yellow daffodil. I think here this will here this will help us. This uh this this keeps track of what we've bought. So yeah, the first one was yellow daffodil, so it's this one. So let's see what this looks like when we put it on the house. Okay. Then this one should be faded morning, I think it's called. Okay, and then this one here should be Bumblebee. Let's see what Bumblebee looks like. Hmm. That's not bad. But I'm really digging the faded yellow a little bit more. But at the same time, I'm also not really... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know if I want to do the yellow. Part of the reason um, that you would paint your house a different color is to just kind of make it stand out and stuff. But because this is a wooden type house, as you can see, it looks like it's, um, it almost looks like that there's like, you know, piles of wood and stuff like that. I want it to kind of have like a country vibe to it. But you know, I also, I also think too that a blue type color could also go good with this. So I think we're gonna go with the bumblebee color. I'm gonna get rid of this. Cause I'm really digging this I'm really digging this faded look, this sort of like a banana color almost. Without without being too stupid. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll look good. And then we can alternate uh, between between some blues. Let me see what kind of blue paint we have here. Okay. Um, let's see. This is definitely going to look like a nice country home once we're done with it. Let's try Horizon. Let me see what that looks like next to this blue. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I think I like this one. Let me see. Let's put it... Let's let's try it over here. <laughs> yeah! Okay. I'm digging that. I'm absolutely digging that. So, the blue... We're gonna we're gonna do this. This part's gonna be yellow, then we're gonna make that blue, and then I think we're gonna make this blue. Alright, well, then let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get painting. Um, I'm probably gonna speed it up here because painting does take a long time.
Okay, so uh, I'm really digging this country style look and you may have noticed that I did buy a ladder. I did say that I probably wouldn't need it, but I ended up needing it. So now the big question is, do I go ahead and keep the same color scheme for the back portion of the house or do we or do we stick with just one of the colors? And I think what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and keep painting um, each side. So I'm thinking that if we continue down this pathway and just make this all blue, come back around here. As you can see, there's a bit of yellow lining here because I think that's going to be okay. And then what we'll do is that we'll keep that yellow effect going this way. So it is going to take a while to um, actually get this all painted. So um, yeah, we got a we got a lot more painting to do. But thankfully, though, um, you guys will only get to see a little bit of it. Especially, uh, especially since, you know, we have the magic of editing. But, I think what I'll do is I'll do some speedy cam here, uh, for a little bit. And then maybe we'll, I, I, maybe I'll cut back in and, uh, and the house will be painted outside. So, we got a lot more to paint, that's for sure. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit longer to uh, get this whole house painted. Um, so, through the magic of editing, the house is now painted. You can see it looks really nice. It looks really, really good, too. Alright, so now that, we, uh, now that we have done that, I don't think we need the... Uh, I don't think we need this anymore, so I can go ahead and probably sell it. We can go ahead and get rid of that. But now we got to figure out what we want to do here at the backyard. And... Something that's something that I think would be kind of cool. I think we need to put a pool back here or something. I'm gonna say that this area right here is a beautiful patio to like barbecue on. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, in order for this to look right, we need to uh, get we need to get at least a handful of these slabs. But let me see if we can uh, find them. Let's see. I think we just need to type in slab and then just match the decoration with it, I think. Or I think it's probably paving. Well, let's take a let's take a look here. So let's see. Concrete. Let's see what we find in here. Ah, here we go. We can also change the texture, but I think we're going to go ahead and keep it this very same way. Let's make sure this is the right type. Yeah, it looks like it, but um, these are really small. Like, that's really, really small. Uh, I don't know why it always says centimeters, but um, we need something a little bit bigger. Or... You know what? Let's just go ahead and go with this. And then we just gotta place it very carefully. There we go. And you know what? It's okay if it's not facing the right way. Because you know what? It's fine. Because we're just... Because we're just making a... 
a little patio area. We're kind of just extending this a little bit. Oh, good, they can overlap. Okay, that's not bad. Hmm. Not really the way I was thinking, but that's okay. Alright, now, now what I think we're gonna do is, I think I'm going to... Well, I think we're gonna need to put a pool in, I think. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, we do have stuff for like a playground and everything. Let's go ahead and get a pizza stove in here. Because that'd be really cool to come out here and uh, make pizzas and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put it right about here. And let's go ahead and get... Let's see about what they have in terms of pools. Uh, don't need an indoor pool. Just need a nice outdoor pool. Uh, no, not there. Okay, these, okay, one of these will definitely work. Something that's also really big, and I think we're gonna go with this one. Cause this one looks really cool. Now let's change the color a little bit to a bit of a grayish color. There it is, whoo, doggy. That's big. Alright, let's see here. I want this to be somewhat close, so let's see. Let me put it right about here. Alright, so now watch this. We get to we get to dig it out. Okay. Now we can go ahead and get the pool in place. There it is. And now we just fill it up with water. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. All right. Now, let's see. I think along the house it would be really cool to put like I don't know, maybe some maybe some shrubs, maybe some uh, plants, some bushes maybe. Let's see, maybe some maybe some topiary would be would be pretty nice. Let's uh let's see what these look like. Blue spruce. <laughs> oh boy. So penis nigra. Or I I I I bet it's penis. But it, it definitely looks like penis, doesn't it? Uh, we're not gonna deal with that. Um, Juniperus. I like this. Let's go ahead and put some down. Let's go ahead and put a couple of these right here, because then we're gonna have to bury them. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy buried. water this. Oh yeah, that looks good. Alright, let me go ahead and get the rest of the topiary stuff put in, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can do. Alright, so now we have some bushes right there. Uh, I kind of want to put a fountain around here someplace, maybe even in the front of the house. We're going to be kind of going back and forth here between the front and the back. And let's see, I think a fountain could go perfectly right here.
Okay, so right here would be perfect. Nice. I hear that train. There it is. <laughs> Pretty cool seeing it, huh? Okay, now, the next thing we want to do is that I want to do something kind of near the back. Kind of near the back portion. So let's go back here a little bit. Um, let's see. I think right here we're going to put some flowers. I think I want to do some flowers of some sort. So let's see, flower beds. Uh, we could probably put some sunflowers down. That'll look cool. Okay. Here's some more. That works. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now, how about over here we go ahead and we put up the children's playground? Because I think that would be really cool to basically give the kids uh, something to, uh, to to play with. So, let me see. Which one is the one that we go to? Oh yeah, we also have these modded type things, and uh, you can actually bring them out. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. It's actually it's actually a lot of fun uh, to use those, but I haven't really had much of a use for them. At least not in this area. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right. I do have all these things for the garden. Ooh, and I even have the hot tub as well. Darn it! Should have thought about that. Um, let's see. Outdoor bench. Sure, this'll work. I think. Let's see. This is... Oh my god, this is huge. So, let's see. Where is this gonna go? Dang, this thing is huge. Maybe even right about here, maybe? Like, even... Right there. That works. That absolutely works, because look at that. It goes right up against uh, the house. It looks it looks pretty good. You can also see it from outside. Yeah, that'll, that'll look just fine. Okay, now that we have this taken care of a little bit, um, yeah, I think we can now go inside. And we are going to come in here, and we need to start working on the lighting structure and everything. Because as you can see, it, it looks a little dark in here. So I need to <clears throat> I need to put some lights up. And to do that, I'm going to need to get a uh, light switch here. And because of these because of these uh, sliding glass glass doors, I can't really do anything unless I put a switch over here. So let's go ahead and get a switch over here. Let's go ahead and do a standard light switch and put it right about here. And then I'll put another one over here. There we go. Now let's get some lights in this area. Okay, so now we need some ceiling lamps. Let's see, what would look good in a kitchen? Hmm. Well, the ball chandelier we'll use for something different. Um, what I want to do in the kitchen is that I want something that'll look really nice. In fact, what I'm thinking is I'm wondering if I'm wondering if these bola chandelier things would look good. Let's kind of let's kind of no 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 because they. This, because that one kind of kind of hangs down. How about this Ratatouille thing? Let's see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and put a couple of these up. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that'll work. Because now we need to get all the kitchen stuff in. So, I think right here is going to be where the stove goes, and then back over here could be some cabinets or something. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let, let's go into the kitchen area and um, 
of everything and see what we can do here. Okay, so we need a couple of good things here. Let's see. Okay, we could do the kitchen set like this. That could be good. And the tabletop, we're going to give it... We want, we want the tabletop to be, to be kind of cool, so we're going to use it with a cedar. Then the base is going to be a white. The sink, let's go ahead and make it gray. And there it is. So now we have our first piece, which is right here, which is perfect. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it does clip in a little bit, but that's all right. So this is the sink area, so that's fine. So, okay, the, the range and stuff is going to go over here, but now right here in the middle, I'm, I'm trying to figure out... Let's see. Uh, we could do this. We could do a classic kitchen set with, 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 with an oven. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now let's now let's go ahead and get some more of these uh, things in. Now because we have <clears throat> a stove right there, maybe what we'll do is that we will make some kitchen cabinets in here. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And kind of kind of green in there, but uh, let's go ahead and make it like that and see what happens here. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit taller, but at least we now have but at least we now have some more room like there. So that's Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. Although why is it missing a door? Let's get rid of that. Let's see. Um, oh, we could put. Oh, we could put some uh, uh, some drawers next to it. That would work. Yeah, we could do that. That's one, two, three. Four, and let's go ahead and make it five. There we go. That works. So now you have everything in here. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, now next we need the refrigerator somewhere, and I'd say the refrigerator goes over here. So let's see. Um, and you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put two refrigerators in this case. Because why the hell not? No, white... No. Gray. Gray looks good. Alright, so there's going to be two refrigerators here. I'm going to put one right here, and the other one next to it right there. There, so that way it doubles the space, and hey, you can get, you can get water from any of these two. Now for this area... Um... This could be where we could do some cupboards as well. Or, yeah, we can, yeah, we can definitely use some, some cupboards. Like even these guys. I kind of like to mix and match sometimes because they look really good. Plus, um, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, I haven't really talked about it much, but, um, in this particular game, as I put the last one there, and this is looking really nice, uh, <clears throat> those people over there on the left, those are the ones that you're trying to sell to. And every time you make a different move, or you or you put something down, or you knock something out, you'll see their little arrows go up and down and up and down. Well, that basically tells you um, if you did something that, that was a positive for them, or if you did something that was a negative for them. And usually they'll let you know what it is. And sometimes they have some very awkward 
um, some very weird requests or like, you know, why, you know, you know, why are you doing this or why are you doing that? Um, it's, it's kind of weird that way. So let's see. Uh, let's see. There's a bar rack right here. That's a very rustic bar rack. I could probably, probably move that over here. Like right about there. Perfect. Now this whole bit of stuff here, like, like this whole area right here, I'm thinking, um, maybe we can just leave it open like that, but I think I want to put some pictures up just, uh, just to kind of even out the place. So we're going to go back in here again. This is now going to be where we go into the tab. So let's see. Uh, there should be some good food pictures in here that we can use. Something that'll look uh, really nice. Or, let's see. Hipster koi framed picture. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put that there. Or actually, no, 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 no. Put it over here. Put it over here. Put it over here. There we go. Let's reserve this spot for a different picture. Like, let's see. I think I think there's a painting here somewhere that I can I can use. Let's see. I'm scrolling through everything that we have here. Um. <laughs> could put the Mona Lisa up, but I don't think I want to do that. Oh, let's put a painting of some sunflowers up here. Go ahead and put it right there. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, this is looking this is looking really nice. But now let's go in here into the dining room, and this is where we will definitely need the chandelier lights. So let's go back over here, go to here, and now we need now we need a couple of good chandelier lights. Something that'll look really good. Let's see, there is this solar chandelier, which looks kind of nice, but there's also this. Ooh, look at that. Let's go ahead and make it black. Let's go ahead and do like a Morticia Adams kind of vibe. There we go. And now we need a light switch in here as well. So we need a switch of some sort. We go ahead and use this. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. I think if it was nighttime, then we could see what, what's going on. But now we need to put down some tables. Um, oh, oh, well now, hmm. We could turn this into a whole poker room if we wanted to. But let's focus primarily on this being a dining room first. Like, this also looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good table. Let's go ahead and put this in. Alright, it's going to go a long ways. It's going to go kind of long ways. So there's a table right there and a table right here. Perfect. Okay. Now... Uh, we're gonna need some chairs to put in here. Gonna need some chairs. Let's see. We need something that'll look good, but can also be fun to use. Uh, and I'm gonna say these guys. These these printed chairs look really good. I'll go ahead and change it for the roses. There we go. And now let's go ahead and put some of these chairs right here. So this is basically how many people can be here. Go ahead and put one at the head. Perfect. 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 Nice. This is looking this is looking really good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some cabinets up. I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use some cabinets. Um probably some corridor cabinets. Because these look really cool. Uh, let's see... Wooden hanger? No. Not those types of cabinets. 
Uh, okay, let's try the living room. Shelves, let's do that. Ooh, look at these. These are, these are like, uh, crates. They're like milk, they're like milk crates. But let's do, let's do, let's do stuff like this. This always looks cool. Okay, so we're gonna put one right there, and then one, like, right here. Yeah, because, because then, you know what, um, <clears throat> a lot of different dining rooms tend to have these two types of things. And they're only open for, like, emergency purposes. And then right here, I'm going to say we have a picture of something. We need something that'll look really cool to kind of, like, just look at. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. This place is starting to look cool. It's starting to look like a home. Now, for this area over here, let's go back to the whole table thing. Because I have a really interesting thought about that. What if it really was a poker table. Because that would be... Because that would be really cool. That would absolutely be cool. So let's go ahead and move it right to here. So that way it's out of the way. And then over here, let's go ahead and do something else. Um, let's see... No. <laughs> no. No, not the bathroom. Living room. Yeah. Ooh, that's a that's a good one too. But let's go ahead and put a bookcase. Let's go ahead and put a bookcase in here and we'll go ahead and make it white. There we go. Now we just flip this around. There we go. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all. This isn't this isn't bad at all. All right, so we have that kind of going for us. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of these paint cans because we don't need them anymore. Now let's come back over here and let's go ahead and get this. Um, let's go ahead and get this living room set up because I think we are nearly done. So let's get a sofa. Ah, not a sofa. A sofa. There we go. Sofa. Um. Ooh, these look. Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Or we can go ahead and make it like that. And then the secondary color is fine. The details. Let's go ahead and make it golden. And now we'll bring this in. And we will have this sitting. Oh, how about like that? Yeah, that works. There's enough space right there. Or what we could do is we could back this off slightly. There. Okay, that's still enough room. Let's put the television set up here. The TV that uh, we're going to use is I'm going to use... Um, Basically a wall-mounted television, and let's see if there's enough space. Oh, look at that! <laughs> there's a lot of space right there. And look at that! Frozen Direct Original. That's pretty cool. And look at all these different, uh, look at all these different things. It's supposed to look like, um, like a streaming app. That's, that's pretty neat. Okay. Um, remember those, remember those, uh, things that we saw earlier? the uh, cartridge, or the uh, crate thingies. I say we go ahead and we use them. And I think we are going to use this, which is considered a TV stand. I'm gonna put them right underneath here. 
Boom. That's perfect. And then for room in this, or for light in this, we're going to use some lamps. There's one lamp that I really, really love that I think would be good. And this one, this one's not bad. We can use this one. So there's one right here. And there's another one back here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now over here in the corridor, this is where we're going to go back into the furniture area and go to the corridor. And now I'm going to use this. I'm going to put that right about here. So that way there's a spot to take your shoes off and everything. And let's get the hanger. These will work. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, in here, we need to go ahead and get the bed in, so let's do that. This is the guest bedroom, by the way. You guys saw us working on this the first time when we were here, so... Now what I'm going to do is that, because it's a guest ba bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and make it just a single bed. Because it doesn't really need much from there. So right about here. Perfect. This is already taken care of. Now what I'm also doing too is that I'm also kind of going with um, not so much the um, not so much trying to populate it and all, but what I am trying to do too is that I'm also uh, keeping the cost down a little bit because you know whoever whoever moves into this uh, home or whoever bids to get it um, will will at least bring their own furniture and stuff. So we can actually help by furnishing some of the stuff. All right, now, let's go ahead and get a desk of some sort. Let's get a classic corner desk like this. And we'll put it right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and get a chair. Let's get a nice little swivel office chair like this. There we go. And I think we're nearly done here, but you know what? I'm going to add a few little touches here because I also need to add some lights here in the hallway because this looks way too dark. So let's get some lights in the hallway here. Uh, let's see, back to lights. Okay, we need some wall lamps. We'll, we'll go ahead and use wall lamps for this, because I think it would just look really cool. And let's see. Uh, oh, these guys are, these guys are kind of cool. Let's go ahead and put a couple of these up. So we'll put one right there, one right here, one right here, 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 here. Um, big one here. And, uh, let's go ahead and put another one, maybe, like, right about here, maybe. And then we need a switch for that. Let's go ahead and make a big switch like this. Alright, let there be light. Ooh. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that'll work. So now, oh yeah, we also have we also have this area. Uh, in here is just fine. You know what? I kind of think that we may be done with this home. If I can just I can just close the door, I guess I can't. But I think we did a very good job with the interior of this home. The front here looks a little bit barren, so I think I'm going to put some flowers down to kind of like help out with this. So let's see, let's get some, let's get some flowers. Uh, let's see, plants, here we go. Uh, flower beds. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put some Rudbeckas out here. Oh, these are, these are nice. Alright, here we go.
Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous with that. Well, I think we could probably call this house done. Because we took care of the inside, we took care of the garden, and I think this place is ready to sell. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do this. Um, something that we can do as well is that when we're done, we can submit the uh, garden for a contest. And I think we're going to go into the American thing. We didn't really do too much, but you can see that... Uh, a lot of plants, cleanliness, and it didn't go up by, by much, but that's okay. So now, as you can see, this is how long we spent on the house, our current budget. And as you can see, we bought the house for, for that price, and um, it now has 15 rooms to it. So um, let's go ahead and put it up on the auction and see, what, see who gets it. So here are the different people that are bidding currently. I have a feeling it's going to go to that young... It's going to go to that couple. Yeah, it's going to go to the Smoth family. But look at the profit. We we bring in some really great profit uh, from that. So this house will now be sold off. And that's going to do it uh, for this episode of One Day Restorations. If you guys want to see more of these, or if you like the idea of switching between cars and, um, and homes... Make sure you leave a like and a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care.